It's okay to kick your pregnant teen out of the house. Y'all wanted some unpopular opinions, well, come get your juice. Sex is for adults. You play adult games, you get adult prizes, children, and thus adult responsibilities. It is not the parent of the teen's responsibility to take care of their grandchild, that includes housing and utilities, food, everything a teen parent would get by living at home. The parents did not consent to having a new baby in the house. Also, the parents might still be raising their own younger children and do not have the time or energy to have a new baby in the house. If the teen wants to be pregnant and have the baby, then they need to be adults and provide for their own child. The teen's parents, baby's grandparents, can do fun grandparent things like babysit once a month or buy them fun toys, but it's not their responsibility to provide the necessities. I do think it's best if they give the teen a reasonable timeline to move out. X, move out before the baby is born or move out before baby turns 3 months old. I'm also not saying that the parents absolutely have to make their teen leave if they're okay with the teen and their baby living there. I just get tired of people hating on parents on pregnant teens because they force the teen to be responsible for the sheltering of their own child. Edit, rape cases. So this doesn't apply to rape cases because the teen didn't choose to have sex. While a teen girl would still have the choice to abort or adopt out, I do think her parents should a bit more because it's not her actions that caused her to be in this situation. A rape teen boy can't do much. He didn't choose to have sex, he doesn't get to choose abortion or adoption. Edit 2, Teen Dad, many asked if this treatment only applies to the girl. It does not. You can kick out the teen dad too. I just think the process might be different for the teen dad and his parents because ultimately it's up to the teen mom about abortion and adoption. Edit 3, I am pro-sex education and pro-access to abortion. When you get pregnant, you have three choices, abortion, adoption, or parenting. Consider everything, including shelter and finances, and make the right choice for you. A choice you'll have to take responsibility for. Last edit before bed, so I removed that landlord line, because it turns out I was wrong and think of it in a more unapproved roommate way. Anyway, what I want people to understand is that when a person gets pregnant there are three options, abortion, adoption, and parenting. Each comes with its ups and downs. The parents of the teens cannot make the decision for them or force them any which way. So if the parents cannot force the teen to abort slash adopt out then the teen is also not entitled to raise their baby at their parents' house just because they had chose to have a child young. If we keep saying that teens are not capable of making adult decisions, then why give them the decisions to birth and raise the child? If the parents are still responsible for them and their fertility no matter what, then the parents would have the ability to make the choice regarding the teen's pregnancy. But they don't. It's up to the teen if they want to keep and raise the baby, so it is also up to the teen to provide for the baby, shelter included. Also, we already have certain pre-age 18 cases in which teens suddenly become adults. Certain crimes, usually violent ones, they'll be tried as adults. Choosing to become a parent, instead of abortion or adoption, is another way a teen crosses that threshold, Imo. We let teens drive, work, babysit, and make plenty of other choices. We don't monitor them like two-year-olds because they have better decision-making skills than that. Same with sex. Teen pregnancy is not a failure on the parents and neither is the choice to keep the baby. It's up to the teen and their choice.